Hello everybody, welcome to week 81 of the DVD Fiends. Uh, sorry I missed last week, I've actually really been trying to get a job and uh, the one that so I wasn't able to uh, do any videos. But uh, I'm back this week and I will be reviewing a movie called Fortress. It's not a science fiction film, it's actually a suspense thriller type film. Uh, it, was, it came out in, I think, 1985-1986 and it showed on HBO. If I'm right, they actually are the ones who made it, was HBO. Uh, basically, it stars to name uh, Rachel Ward as a school teacher who uh, teaches in the schoolhouse with uh, kids of various different ages. And one day, they end up getting uh, pretty much kidnapped by these four guys. They're taken off in this, uh, they put them on this van, take them to the middle of nowhere, and put them in a cave, and, like, seal up the cave. Well, from there, the teacher and the students had to find, basically had to survive, had to find some way out of this place and survive. Um, and eventually they do get out, but, of course, they run into more trouble. All right, I'm not gonna talk too much more about it about the plot of the film because I really want to get off anything else. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, this film is actually really, really cool. Uh, it has a great cast, including the children. The uh, the main star, of course, the teacher. Uh, she is very strong as as a character, um, and you can just tell by her by the way she presents herself. Like at, there's a times where like kids. It would be a time where some, most people would probably panic, and she holds her composure and gets these kids to relax and just start thinking of ways to get out of the situations. Um, and she just—it's just she's a really just a really strong female character, and just a character in general. I shouldn't just say female because just an overall a character. She's really strong in this film, as well as. Uh, there's another kid, I think I think one of the kids in the movie is called Derek, his character's name is. And he even is quite strong in this one. Uh, I think it's Derek. But nonetheless, the kids actually do great jobs as what as their roles too. Uh, unfortunately with a lot of films like this, you usually don't see the the kids usually don't as aren't as strong as characters as they could be. So but, so that's kind of unfortunate, but in this film, I have to say the, character, the, the kids do just as good of a job as a teacher and being very strong characters and everything. Um, surprisingly, even for like, this being considered a TV movie, even though it was HBO, which is a little different because you can, you can push the boundaries a little bit more, uh, there's actually one scene where this older man, he gets shot and blasted and it's all bloody and ripped open in his chest. Uh, which I found kind of interesting to see in this type of film. Um, but, nonetheless, it actually it actually looks like, you can kind of tell that they did, they did have like a lower budget. But the way it's shot and the way it looks, looks beautiful. It looks great. I mean, uh, they did a great job with like the scenery. Um, just everything about this film looks great. Uh, I think I picked this up for three dollars at Big Lots a while back because I actually found out about this from a friend who uh, who told me about it. He said he really he'd been watching throughout his throughout his childhood and growing up, and he really told he told me to watch it. And finally found it on DVD, and I bought it for him. And then I waited, and luckily I found this for three bucks. Um, I think it's brand new. You can get it on Amazon for like ten bucks. But you can probably get some used copy for at least probably about three to five dollars, maybe maybe a little bit more. But there's no uh, special features to this at all, just to let you know. But it is in widescreen. It runs about 90 minutes. I think it's about 88 minutes actually. It's 88, 90 minutes. It's not rated because they didn't have to worry about ratings or well, getting it rated when they play on HBO. But nonetheless, I would definitely check this one out. Um, there's not much more I can really say about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my review, and please come back all week. Alright guys, bye.